Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers, and we've got a keepable hand, let's keep it, and um, we're up against uh, some artifacts, it's been uh, coming back into the meta quite a bit recently, oh, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, I'm going to go sidewinder, into plated into Viverland and then maybe smash down a gem hide and get some stuff rolling here. Just gonna play creatures for now. Try to get some poisonous on board. See how it goes. Atog already. Oh, okay. It's a good blocker for a second. That is annoying. Winding weight's good. Same plan. Same plan. Pass for a turn. Although I want to kind of start pressuring their ATOG soon. So if we can do that, cool. For now, we will pass. And get ready to drop a Thriving Grove. Probably call blue. It's my thought. Play a gem hide, play a winding, see what we can hit, try to refill. Predatory's good. So you know what? Let's Yeah, let's put down Jemmy. See what they want to do here. It's winding. Creature. I'll take all that. That's fine. Uh, so I will call blue for this. And we'll get this guy out while we can. Seems reasonable. I know about the winged. We're going to start going hard here. If we get one land, that'd be pretty nice to play some double lords. I mean, we could play everything no matter what, unless they kill our gem hide, but it's going to get nasty for them real quick. They're not quite to the point where they can destroy us with Atog. I tapped out for that too. Hmm, interesting. Get scared. Land. Hmm, another winged. Not great. Not great. We're just putting stuff down now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Three four flyer coming at you with double poisonous. Hope you like it. If you kill our winged, which they totally can, we're not above the range of them killing our winged. Um could be a blowout here actually too, the more I think about it, because I could tap spring leaf. Shoot our wing down, lock. Pretty gnarly. Mm. We'll still have to trade if they do like any of these. If they do ATOG, they could really. They're in a pickle. They're in a pickle. If they're holding on to some removal, it's still going to be an ugly turn for blocks if they want to trade just this striking. It's not going to be great, but it looks like they are going to do this. Smart play would be. Oh, sure. Reduce damage, I guess. Fine. Yeah. All right. Still got double poisonous at you. I have two cards in hand. I don't know. I don't know about all that. The only other thing I could guess is that uh, 
They have another Galvanic, and they don't want to chance me getting past their Galvanics next turn. Or something like that. I don't know. Ugh. Seemed like a bad use of Galvanic, though. Ah, alright, cool. Well, let's see if they want to concede after this. No concession. What about after this? Am I not going to swing with? Not going to swing with one of you. How about that? Double winged. You had removal for the first. Do you have removal for the second? That's what I'm wondering. Doing this down as an assurity that you can't kill my flying. That's right. Wing sliver. Look at that beauty. All right. Ah, artifacts, artifacts, artifacts. Bring in our fun artifact stuff. I'm wondering if it's worth it to bring in a benevolent bodyguard. Yeah. Could be. Get rid of one winding. Need to cut two more cards still. Ugh. I like the striking muscle. Maybe just one benevolence. I like Sidewinder. Mmm. 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 Hearts. Ah, I don't know about that cut. Let's cut heart. I don't know. I don't know about that cut. Not quite sure about that one. Great. Perfect. I like it. Give me these hands all day. This is beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Keep not mulliganing this. No turn one artifact, just the land. Oh, all right. We're going to have a lot of those. Very nice. Go ahead, and we're going to get our flanking and then our flanking Viverlin on next turn. Let's go, let's go. Cool, cool. Thriving Grove. All right, we'll get to you. We'll get to you. We don't need to put you down yet. We just want to pressure. Pressure, pressure. But it does help me ensure that we can play this winding way and really get set up with whatever we draw, which will be nice. If we draw winged, cool. If we draw some red, cool. Ideally, we want to hit a winding. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Probably just go Lord next turn. Now I'll definitely go Lord next turn. Oh, hello. You got that out fast. Holy cow, man. That was a fast gear seeker. Yikes. Another forest. See what we can find. I should have played my Thriving Grove, honestly. Yeah, I should have put down my Thriving Grove if we were just going to do that. I was hoping we would just draw into another one drop or something, but eh, I think that was kind of foolish. We could have had our, our other guy down. Not a great hit, though, unfortunately. I really want to just power things out right now. Not worth swinging in. I mean, yeah, the double flanking is nice against Frogmite. Not so nice against the Gear Circer. Circer? Seeker. <laughs> gear Seeker. Four cards in hand for the Artifacty Boys. And how close are they to doing this? Six mana? Ooh. They're pretty close. They're pretty close. They could fling six at our face, too, potentially.
All right, I guess we'll start setting up with some lords. I'm sure they can kill some. Double flanking makes us uh, three, four. So we're not quite there yet on a good attack. Pass one more turn. Hopefully hit some uh, good stuff on this winding way. Bye bye Lord, probably, yep. Okay. They always gotta have one. Oh, that's not good. Now what you wanna see. Prophetic, keep drawing those cards, absolutely. Hit me for six, kind of annoying. I feel like they have a fling that they're trying to set up for. Could have just like, mm. yeah, that's tough. That's a tough one right now. Keep drawing those. See what we can find. All hits. Wow. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, man. And I did again where I, I should have waited before I played a land. Foolish. Very foolish. Double poisonous is scary though. Man, I really messed up with that winged. Hit them for six poisonous, huh? They can either block my lord or block my poisonous, sure. Trade and enforcer. We have enough pressure here. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is if they have Galvanic, they kill our lord and then just block free on the Viverlint. That'd be the worst situation. They're playing smart though. They're gonna block the Viverlint, which is smart. Oh no, they did have it. Worst situation happened. Wow. What can you do? That's that's the worst situation that could have happened there. That's what I kept playing around last game too. The last time we played Affinity. True Affinity, not Glaze Affinity. Ugh. Not great. Not great. Played like they didn't have it. They had it. What are you going to do? They could have, they could have, why didn't they, hmm, what are they doing? I feel like they could have, they could have played that land, made Gear Seeker unblockable, hit me for at least seven. I don't know what they're doing.
Let's go. Let's finish this up. Listen, I'm going to block him if you don't make him unblockable. I'm not a fool. I know you got that fling. You're sitting on that fling. It's going to piss me off if you have it. I think that's a wrap, though. I don't think we can do anything from here. I just want to see my draw. Yeah. Alrighty. Two game three we go with Affinity. Uh, do we want to do anything different? Maybe. Did I mess something up here? Say so screw the benevolent. Bring back in the haste. Bring back in the sentinel. Drop one plated. Drop the striking. Drop the striking. Sure. Let's try it like that. I want to keep my one drops. I want to get fast plays going. We just need to draw a good hand. I'm not... Yeah, I'll keep this. A lot of refill. Two lords. Might just hit the refill right away before I play anything, honestly. Just to get a better assessment of what we have going on. Hit a winding way straight away. Let's see what they do. Will you keep or will you maul? You did maul. Well to six. Pass. Okay, same start as last time. That's good. Hmm. I see. You know what? I'm going to play Lord. And we'll do a Winding Way next turn and play a Viverlint on top of it or something like that. Get this last land out of our hands. They're going slow. Winged. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I think I'm going to take advantage of the situation here. I'm liking what they're, they're doing as far as it benefiting us. Early pressure with three lords and a Viverlint. It's pretty nice. And then we'll lead the Stampede next turn if we don't have anything good to play. If we keep drawing Lords, I might just play those. But if they don't have any way to play um, Mana Fixing to get Galvanic Blast going or something, let's take advantage of that. See what we can do. I'm trying to read their hand. They did Mulligan. They don't have a great start. They have a kind of a slow start. There's their Thought Cast. They're going to try to draw some stuff. Chromatic. Yeah, it's just gonna be just gonna be a little late, I think, for them. We're gonna hit them for nine. Hit them for nine, and we draw a Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let's do it like this. Cause I really want to put this Riverland down. More pressure. Ooh, that's kind of nice too. I like that, but this is nice. So we're hitting for nine and we're hitting for six poisonous. So that's really, really doing them in. They're gonna have some work now. They got six cards, but they didn't find any like creatures they could play right away. And we're sitting on this winged sentinel. So, uh, wings, wing sentinel. We are sitting on a wing, winged and a sentinel, but the, we're sitting on this wing sliver. As soon as we get the moment to play it, we're going to smash it down as soon as they start putting down creatures. Not too early, though. We'll wait until they play like some creatures and then we'll go overhead. 
feel like that'd probably be the best bet. I mean, I'm not really worried. I think they're dead in the water right now. I think their mulligan really did them in. They might be able to kill a Viverlint. But we still have another Viverlint out. And we can swing for three poisonous. They're going to get a blocker. That's fine if that's their only play. There is a there is a world in which they survive this. There is a world. They have to kill a Viverlint. Block. Choices. Hmm. What's better? I'm thinking Sidewinder's better, so if they do have that play. If they do have that play, they kill a Viverlint, and they block a Lord, right? That way they're only taking two Poisonous, still taking a bit of damage, but then they eat our Lord. At least by playing this, they don't eat our Lord. We can at least trade out. If they have it, wow, good on them. But I at least want to be able to trade if they do have it. Not seen it yet. Are you bluffing me? They weren't. What do you got? Block, fling, okay. All right, either way. They lose their creature, and we keep ours, and they take two poisonous. Cool. All right. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I just wanted to make sure we were covered on that end. I didn't want to lose my lord for no reason. All right. Bit awkward with the mana situation, but what are you going to do? I'm trying to play for the win. Now they have two life, nine poisonous. They're dead on two angles. They need a lot. They need a lot, lot. Get that card draw, see what they can find. Okay. Okay. That's two blockers. But you're tapped out. That's just game. Yeah, you're tapped out. You're you're done. Yeah, okay. Good. I was like, okay, two blockers. If they're holding up another blast. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, they're tapped. They're tapped. Okay, all right. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that one. Uh, please subscribe. Support the channel if you enjoy Popper Slivers. We got Call of Duty on the weekends usually. And Sunday Booster Cracking on Sundays, obviously. So if you enjoy the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to reach the 600 mark. We're trying to hit 1,000. But we're coming up to 600 soon. So I appreciate any support you can give, and we will see you guys in the next episode.